Hello, Kelsey Taylor here. Welcome to another movie review, and kind of a recent one. Um, I just got back from seeing Frozen 2. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering, well, what took you so long to go see it? Well, a number of reasons. One, I didn't want to see this movie in the theater full of kids. You know, Frozen is a big popular thing, and I don't want to see it with many people in the theater. So, um, I just saw it tonight with a few other friends, and, uh... And um, my thoughts on Frozen, and I done a trailer reaction to the Frozen 2 trailer, and I thought it looked kind of epic, and um, this movie in a way is sort of epic. Now, I know this movie, the sequel, has gotten some mixed reviews. Um, people aren't, like, praising. I think there's some people that are praising it. But some people said it was not as good as the first one, and um, a lot of people, I guess, went in with very high expectations. Now, the first Frozen, I've only seen at least once. Um, when it came out on DVD, and I thought it was a good movie. Um, after seeing this, I think I like it. I think I like the first one a bit better, mainly story-wise. And this one, and this movie is going to be kind of hard to explain, um, because the plot is kind of like can be a little complicated and kind of a little too hard to follow. Um, so basically, what I picked up from what, what I seen in the sequel, um, Elsa keeps hearing um, these voices, like like this one voice that I <laughs> stuck in my head right now. You heard it all throughout the movie, but you've seen it, you know what I mean. Kind of like an epic sound. So she, Anna, Olaf, as well as Kristoff and his um, reindeer. I forgot his name, but it shows you how much um, I like the first movie. Thought it was it was good. I wasn't like in love with it like everybody else. So basically, they had to go, um, you know, find the voice and um, and then um, they come across a forest that's been in the fog for many years, never seen clear skies, and yeah, they're telling the story. The plot's very complicated to explain. And then, um, and then Anna and Elsa figure out um, what, what their parents were. If you've seen, may, maybe this review before is for us from the first in this film. So maybe there's some spoilers, but you've been warned ahead of time. Anyway, um, and then they try to, you know, find like um, like what their parents were searching for um, on the night of their death. Um, they went out to sea and uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, but uh, if you've seen the movie, you would know what I mean. It's just basically um, finding answers on like... Um, like what their parents went out for in the first place, and they never end up returning home. Like I don't think it's ever something was ever mentioned in the first film. Basically, you just you know they go out to sea and then they die in a storm. So that's that's all I can recall. Now, um, now the second one, the second movie, Frozen Two, um, has a lot of really pretty visuals. I think as, as much as the first one, um, has some pretty pretty visuals. Like um, seeing it on the big screen is kind of like has beautiful colors and all that. And um, the humor is kind of like spot on. Um, I got like like Olaf the Snowman is always funny, and uh, I got a chuckle every now and then. And um, and while the songs are like pretty good, I think the one song, um, "Show Yourself," it was I think it's probably my favorite song for some reason. I don't know. Um, it, it, that, that was like kind of epic. Um, although I think "Let It Go" is kind of catchy, but you all heard it to death. And no, I won't be singing it for you. <laughs> and um, and um, and then there's like some some heart some heart in it. Like, um, there's some parts where I almost got teared up, but not fully. Like, like there's, some, there's a lot of parts that are kind of depressing. Um, I remember the one scene in the first film where um, Anna sacrifices herself to save her sister. That one got me teared up. Um, but uh, this one definitely, you know, it definitely has, like, more of an epic um, turn from, than the first film. Like, I think the first one's more easy to follow. It's just, like, a little simple story. Um... Mainly with the the surprise villain and all that, and I don't know if some of it could be cliche, but after watching this one, like this, like the story, like while it's not bad, like I can definitely um, but okay, but sometimes like there's some parts where it's kind of like complicated for me to follow. I was like, all right, I'm trying to figure this out. Like, all right, what what makes sense here? Like um, like what is like, what are they searching for? Um, what is the purpose of it? Um, what's what's really Elsa's goal here? I don't. It's so yeah, story wise, that's I, that, I guess that's what was people's flaw with this film is that, while um you know they waited six years for a sequel and this is what they got like a, a very epic story that could have been much better if it was f fully developed or kind of easy to follow, but it's kind of like a complicated story. Like I said, the first one I thought was more well paced and and stuff, but all, like the sequel, it, it's not bad. Um, I didn't go to this film with high expectations. Like I said, I was never a huge fan of the movie Frozen, but. Um, I would definitely say if you really love the first one, I don't know how you may feel with the second one. You may you may like it better, uh, but maybe I don't know. Maybe it'll be 
for for some people who have never seen the first Frozen film may get kind of lost in it. This is some kind of like awkward, funny scene with um, Olaf explaining um, the the first movie again. Well, his own little story um, to the new characters that they come across while they were in the woods. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, so it's it's kind of surreal. One musical number is kind of surreal as well with the reindeer and Kristoff, but um, but I think like like this movie's definitely fun. Um, it's kind of hard if I. I say it's a high recommendation, although it's not one of my favorite movies that came out last year. I kind of like Toy Story 4 a lot better, but um, with this one, it has very neat visuals and, um, you know, it's kind of well-paced. It's just the story sometimes can be, like I said, it's not awful. It can be very complicated or something. Um, I don't know. So, um, and if, you, if, if Frozen 2 is still in the theaters, I don't think it's going to be out for very long. Probably will be out. For, I know the rest of January before it goes to Disney Plus, and I heard rumors it's not going to come out on Blu-ray or DVD. I don't know. That's what I heard, but uh, it's definitely it's definitely it's definitely worth seeing. If you if you're like not a massive fan of Frozen, then um, maybe maybe you'll like this fine. But I don't. Know, I have to, I like to hear what you guys think of this movie. Um, did you like it better than the first one, or do you think the first one's like a bit better? Um, I think I would watch the first one again over this, but um. I don't know. I'm glad I saw it at least once, and um, I would probably see it again if it ever pops up on TV or something. But I wouldn't go rush to see it again. So um, this one's kind of like a, a decent watch. Um, so yeah, so take it for what it's worth. And um, so that's my little review of Frozen Two. I just want to do a little quick review since I've just seen it tonight, and um, hopefully I'll probably get out to the movie theaters even more to see other films that that are coming out like. Like, I thought Doodle was going to come out this week, but... Well, yeah, it is coming out this week, but I thought it came out last weekend, but... Nah. But this is the movie they chose for the night. And I just, you know, just want to talk about it for a little bit. Get my thoughts on it. So, um, that's my um, mini-review of Frozen 2. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I'll catch you later. Yeah, it's been pretty messed up, but... Complicating my words here, but anyway. See you guys next time. Adios!